despite so far the lack of grassroots counter mobilization on immigration on the right. It seems to me surprising, and given how closely I followed it the last time around, that it's like a dog that hasn't barked yet. Yeah, well, I think the difference is that within the right wing world, the question of immigration is wrapped up in the question of Republican appeals to Hispanic voters. I don't think anybody wants to come out and organize the march against Hispanics. Right. I don't think that's uh, where that is. You've got you know the usual thing going on in the Republican world, which is business interests want uh, immigration reform. But they wanted it in 2006, 2007. Right, too. and you've also got a Republican establishment that's currently panicked and thinks that it can't win presidential elections without Hispanics. But what's interesting about that is that that establishment I don't think of that establishment having a great amount of control over the grassroots on sort of hot button issues like this. But what I'm seeing play out here is maybe they do have a lot of control. Well, I don't think it's as hot an issue uh, as, yeah. people, as people think it is. And I think when you, if you put just a question of amnesty up before, yeah, that gets the grassroots really riled up. But the question of the uh, broader reform of the immigration system, I don't think, drives people as crazy as things like, say, taxes or gun rights do. Sarita, are you, um, are you surprised?